Hello and welcome to this episode of Technical 13 Munzee Tutorial Series. Today we're going to learn how to deploy in Munzee Virtual Gardens. Um, if you're a new player, feel free to scan my personal referral code there. It will get you 50 points and um, get you started. All right, so let's head right into some Munzee Virtual Gardens and figure out how to deploy pins in gardens. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is head to our profile page. I've turned off all of my user scripts. User scripts are handy tools that you can use through um, different providers from different authors to make it easier to visualize things on various websites and easier to do things. I've turned them all off for the purpose of starting this video. Um, we will turn them on as we go and as we need them. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to our undeployed list because we want to add a pin to a virtual garden. And the gardens that I'm going to be working with today going to be the California Cowboy Garden. It's a new garden that will be posted probably later today or tomorrow. Um, it's not publicly available yet, so you'll get to see me deploy um, the first couple pins in there. Um, I'm also going to be using this flat garden. Um, I'm going to deploy one in there. So this will be a different type of flat type. And I'm going to be doing the new Munzee logo um, garden um, somewhere on the West Coast. <laughs> I have no idea where it is exactly, but um, I wanted to pick a few different gardens. As you can see, they have different formats, different layouts, what you need to do in order to post in them. Um, so let's start with the new Munzee logo. This is the oldest style um, garden layout where it's sometimes Munzee number, row, column, latitude, longitude, uh, Munzee type, which is actually kind of redundant to Munzee, username, URL, and then some information, extra information on the sheet. All right, so we're going to start with that one. Let's find a pin to deploy in this garden. Um, I'm hoping you can all see this okay. Let me blow it up a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And a little bit bigger. All right, so now that you can actually see what's going on here, let's see if we can find a pin to deploy. Um, the pins in this garden are forest green, green, and white. So let's start with seeing if we can find just a basic white pin to deploy. Whites are full, whites are full. Let's take a look here. So there should be 178 free white pins. Let's just scroll to the bottom. See if we can pull some from there. Coming up from the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I'm going to deploy number 444. No, we missed Mo already has 444. Um. Oh, 333, is that one taken as well? It is, so redundant numbers are taken. 334 is also taken. Um, so I'm just looking through the list, trying to find a number that hits my fancy. Um, how about 186? We'll put in 186. So my username is technical13. Okay, so I plug that in there, I hit tab. I have now reserved what, what is known as reserved this pin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my undeploys and I'm gonna look for virtual types and I'm gonna pick my oldest virtual type here, which happens to be this pin right here. We're gonna copy this URL from the top of the page. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so 
I'm going to copy this URL, select all, copy. Okay, and I'm going to take this number, and I'm going to go back to the garden page, and where it says URL, column I here, next to my name, I'm going to click up here, paste that in, and hit enter. All right, so now there's a link to my Munzee on the sheet, and the only thing I have left to do is actually physically deploy it. So this is Munzee number 186 from the new Munzee logo. So I'm going to edit my Munzee, and I'm going to call it new Munzee logo number 186. A very good practice to have is to, in the notes, um, right-click on column A of whatever your Munzee is and get link to this cell. Copy the cell. Okay, press Control-C to copy. Go back to here and paste in that link. Now, that is a URL. It's a direct link back to my Munzee in the sheet the one that I reserved for this pin. So anybody can very easily, if they're looking through on the Munzee map and they see this garden, and then <laughs> they happen to select my pin, they'll see in the notes, Google Sheet, link to the sheet, so they can add their own pins, they can go right to the, my pin there. So I'm gonna update that. It says this Munzee has been updated, so now this is actually saved in the Munzee website. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the coordinates. I'm going to select both columns and copy. And I'm going to go to Edit Location. By default, all Munzees are located at 0, 0. I'm going to paste in this. I'm going to press Shift, Control, Back Arrow to highlight the uh, latitude. I'm going to cut that out. Hit backspace once, tab, control V to paste it, tab, update. This Munzee has been updated. It will now show the map where my pin is, right on Southwest 12th Avenue. Okay. This is a white Munzee, so we don't have to do anything else as far as location, convert, or edit. The only thing we have left to do is go back to Edit Munzee and click on the deploy to deploy button. I'll say, are you sure you want to deploy this Munzee? Just hit OK. And our Munzee is now deployed in Cape Corral, Florida. New Munzee logo 186. Alrighty. And that's how you do this old style sheet. You'll see that shows that I got one Munzee deployed. Some people like to give out socials for certain numbers. But there's our Munzee. All right, so we no longer need this open. We no longer need this open. Let's go to this next type of sheet that I've come across. This one needs a flat. So let's go see what we have for flat types. Um, how about a flat hammock? Do I have a flat hammock? I've got two flat hammocks. Okay, so let me find a flat hammock spot in here that isn't taken. about number 50. All right, so let's grab our flat hammock. We're going to grab our URL. We're going to paste in our URL and hit enter. Now this sheet automatically will pull our username out of the URL. I am going to grab this title. I'm going to edit our Munzee, paste number 50, copy, paste number 50, Google Sheets. I am going to get the link to the cell for column A for my, sh for my pin, copy, paste. Update. It has been updated. Copy our coordinates. Edit location. 
paste, cut, paste, update. Go back to Edit Munzee, Deploy, and it is now deployed. It's ready to go. So let's take a look at some other things on this sheet. Um, you can see there, there are there's a block here, counters for how many of each type there is, how many are reserved, how many are deployed, percentages of each. You can get a map sheet, just control click on a link, you got to hover to get a link to pop up and then control click. So you can see the the map here. Oop, I didn't realize I had a script still running here. I've got three of them. Okay, let's turn those off. I want to be able to show what it actually looks like. Okay. <coughs> so this is what it looks like. Doesn't quite look centered, probably because I'm zoomed in so much, but if you zoom out a little bit, you can see it. You can only specials to get rid of the greenies. Still got some types that we don't quite like in there. So I'm actually going to turn one of my user scripts back on. All of the user scripts that I show in this video um, will be linked to at the bottom of the screen, as well as instructions on um, how to install Tamper Monkey for Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox. You can see our pin is right here is gray. All right, so let's turn on some gadgets, some user scripts. I want to turn on stupid pop-ups. Okay. I want to turn on Munzee Map Filtering version 3, which you can't actually see me doing. Um, I'm actually going to rework version 3. I'm also going to turn on Munzee Map Pin Stacking. I'm going to reload the page. You'll see a couple new things show up. At the bottom of the screen now, you'll see that I have the ability to toggle and filter the types of Munzees that show up. So I can turn off everything that isn't a flat or my own. That's what the garden looks like. I can show circles, which will also show circles of things that are being hidden. Show only flat circles, which is really helpful when you're um, trying to deploy a flat and you want to deploy ones that aren't be that aren't currently on the map. You can see all these dots over here. These are types, um, probably mats and robs that are currently not on the map, but you can still see their circles, so you can see what you're doing. Um, I find it very handy and helpful to do that. So let's move on to the last type of sheet. Oh, there's a few more things going on here. Uh, what else have we got? This is what the garden's supposed to look like. Here's our grid. Shows what it's supposed to look like. Shows what's filled in here. Resolve that out. You can see how many of each people have deployed. People like to add a lot of scripting to this. So my flat hammock was up here at number seven. All right, so let's move on to the last type of sheet. This is a type of sheet that I came up with. Um, and you can see that it can be a pain sometimes. If I want to show all of my undeployed, there's actually no button here to clear the filter. So I actually wrote a little gadget called Special Z, I think it is. No, Z Filter Plus. That will simply add a 
clear filters option on the end there to show them all again. Um, I have some other scripts I got going on that I wanted to show off as well a little bit. Um, we've got MHQ a go and badge Z. So badge Z, what that does is it allows you to add a few custom things up here. Um, it will automatically add if you're a Discordian, if you're in the Discord server. Um, it will automatically add if you are a beta tester, assuming that I knew that you were a beta tester. If you've entered the monthly video contest, it will show a little pop up here for entered and won. When you mouse over it, it'll actually give a pop up tooltip that shows you the months and years. But anyway, um, what else was I doing here? Ah, yes. So we're going to filter it by virtual types. I'm going to pull up another virtual Munzee. All right, so we're going to try and deploy the first one, which is way down the sheet here. I want to do this one first. Okay, so this is going to be California Cowboy 1101. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to edit Munzee. I'm going to paste that in there. Paste that in there. Enter, enter. Google Sheet, and we're going to get a link to this cell, copy, I'm going to paste this in there, I also like adding links to Discord to, to discuss or ask questions about it, if there's no specific channel for the garden. Some gardens actually have specific channels for talking about that garden. If there's no specific channel, like this garden, I just put the generic discord.me slash Munzee in there. Update that. Edit location. No different than the white or the flat at this point. Um, I've actually got a script here called DeployZ. And the idea is you can pop it into the search here, or you can click the locate button and it'll bring you to your location. I need to refine that script a little bit. It's not quite working right now. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, so now this is supposed to be a virtual black, and we currently have a virtual white. So to change colors of a pin, we go to convert. And on the convert page, you will see all the colors and types that it can be, as well as, um, virtual trails. However, it can be really hard to distinguish what colors are which. Fortunately, there's actually a Tamper Monkey script for that called virtual show virtual Munzee name. We're going to turn that on real quick and reload the page. And now you can actually see all of the color names. Makes it a lot easier. We want black. OK, so it's now a black Munzee. Our location is set. Our name and notes are, are set. So the only thing left here is how to enter it in the script here. This column H is just for your user name, so technical 13. This column I is just for the deploy number. So if we go back and we look up here, the deploy number is the section right after your username before any any admin, admin map, admin print, admin convert, any of that stuff. Just the, the three um, up to five digit number. I don't think anybody has 10,000 or 100,000 deploys yet. So it could be an up to a five digit number there. We're just gonna copy it, paste it in, and that will automatically create the checker link. You'll see the, the, the sheet change colors. So if it's white, there's no information. If it's yellow and italicized, that means that it's reserved, but the pin has not been placed yet. If you put in a pin number, it will turn red and give a checker link. 
once the owner of the sheet has gone through and checked it to make sure that it's the right color and where it belongs, they'll hit this checked box. And that will turn this box green and it'll up increment the deployed number by one. So it's all ready, all set to go. So you can see the status there. I'll show how that works in a minute. Let's clean those out. All right, so now if we control click on this and we watch up here at the top of the sheet, you'll see nothing happen. It'll just take you to the pin. I'll show you where the pin is. In order to see what the real benefit of this is, you need to install a user script that is called Munzee Garden Pin Checker. When you install the Munzee Garden Pin Checker and you control click on a link, you'll see up in the corner here it says That's for the Google Doc. Let's see if I can get this to work here. You can see it says 99% undeployed. And if we click on the link, you'll see that it says, this pin just needs to be deployed. Let's zoom in on this real quick. So it says this pin just needs to be deployed. All right, so if we click OK, this is our pin. So the only thing we have left to do is hit the deploy button. Once it's deployed, you'll see that it says deployed April 8th, two seconds ago. If we control click on this link now, We'll see it says 100%. That means it's absolutely perfect. If we tab over, you'll see that it says this pin is 100% correct. So that lets you know that you did everything right. It's the right color. It's in the right place. Nothing to worry about. It's the right type. If it's supposed to be an evolution type or color or whatever, 100% perfect. All right. So... Owner will come through, check the box, and we now have one deployed. So, we've got, it shows us now that we have one of 50 deployed. We have an information tab for my sheets. You can see what the, it's supposed to look like. Top, however many placers there are. I don't know why it says three placers. All right, so let's grab another one. I'm supposed to do another black. So we'll go profile. Oh, so I turned on MHQ ago, and you can see that it will now show specific date and timestamp, MHQ time, and more precise. <coughs> how long ago it was instead of just like six months ago, it'll be 6.3 months ago or whatever. Um, and it works in many different sections. There's a few places that needs a little bit of refinement, but you can see basically how it works. All right, so back to undeployed. And I want virtuals. And we're gonna deploy another virtual. Actually, let's go back real quick. Let's. What else do I have for undeployed? Something totally wrong. How about a surprise? Let's take a look at a surprise bunsy. So the number for that's 1013. So if we get the wrong type in there, and we click on the link, you'll see error 0% correct. It's not in the right place because it's still at zero, zero. We haven't updated the location. It's not the right type. It's supposed to be a virtual black and it's not deployed right yet. So it's gonna be error, nothing is right. When we view the sheet, 
you'll see it says there are multiple things not right. Onesie is not deployed. Surprise is not black. Expected coordinates is not actual coordinates. And this number is a little bit off right now, but whatever. So that's not the pin that we want. Let's put in a proper base type. Let's make it black like it's supposed to be. Link is updated. We'll take a look at it real quick. Now it's 33% correct. Not deployed. Black is equal to black. And the coordinates haven't been updated. We're getting there. Let's put our coordinates in. Update our coordinates. Let's take a look at our sheet now. And 99% correct. So it's in the right place. It's just not deployed. So you can kind of see how it's very helpful. So the only thing we have left to do is go to Edit Munzee. We should give it a name. It's going to be CA Cowboy Double Lot 13. I'm going to copy the link to the, sh the cell. Just discord.me slash Munzee. Update. We now have a description. We will deploy. And our pin is ready to go. Let's double check. Make sure that it's there. 100%. All set. Excellent. And that is how you deploy in all of the types of sheets that I am aware of. Thank you for watching. Um, our next episode will be how to create a virtual garden using my base template sheet. Thank you for watching.